Hi everyone, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm super excited to have you here with me this morning for a video that I really didn't think I was going to make until about a week ago. Hold on, let me have a little bit of my coffee. And this is the Starbucks Pumpkin Spice and I absolutely love it. And I look a little summery for the fall, I have to admit. It's in October here, but it is supposedly going to be a warm day and I did want to show you this because it is a very cute top that I got maybe a month ago at Thread Up. And for those of you who have followed my channel, you know that I love Thread Up. It's a wonderful online resource to get gently used clothes. And I always put in the search box there at Thread Up. I put new with tags or appears new. And I put in my brands. I think this is a Banana Republic. And I think it's really, really cute. And for those of you who have never tried Thread Up, I have a link below the video where you get a $10 credit there and I get one too. So we kind of help each other out, which is absolutely wonderful. Okay, let me get into the topic for this video. And like I mentioned before, I really hadn't intended to shoot this video until about a week ago when I was shooting a Curology video. And in that video, I show you my PM skincare routine and I love Curology and it is kind of the cornerstone of what I do. And that video will be posted soon. And in the course of doing that video, I logged into Curology and I realized that I put pictures in myself there from about six months ago. And so I had these six months before pictures and I had just taken an after set of pictures. And when I looked at the pictures, I was truly amazed at the before and after of my nose. Let me go ahead and show you that picture. And again, I was really just doing a video about my skincare. I had no idea that a nose video would come out of it. But here, let me show you the picture that brought this whole thing on. Here it is. And that was on the Curology website. That was about six months ago in the before picture. And that was maybe a week ago when I shot the after picture. And really, when you just look at my face in the before and after, you can really see that my face has become much more streamlined. And for those of you who follow my channel, you know that maybe about three months ago, I started a program of facial yoga. And it happened because one of my viewers made a comment about my puffy cheeks. And she said, you should stop using cheek filler because your cheeks are getting overblown. You've got to stop that. And it kind of hurt my feelings because years ago, maybe five years ago, I was getting a breast fat transfer to try to get rid of my rheumatoid arthritis, which I did. Getting the implants out and getting fat transferred into that area really did stop my joint pain. It's been wonderful. But when I was getting that done, I also asked the doctor if he could put some of the fat in my nasal folds. I just picked my nose there. Sorry about that. And when I woke up, I was horrified because in addition to doing the nasal folds, he had also put some fat in my cheeks. And I did not like it at all. And it has taken five years to kind of go down and not be so puffy looking. So her comment really kind of hurt my feelings. And it got me thinking. And I do believe that God doesn't give bad gifts. And so I thought, where is the gift in that kind of comment that hurt my feelings? And that got me thinking that maybe facial yoga could pull in my cheeks a little bit. So I created a program to do my whole face and I showed you the before and after results after one month and they were pretty incredible. And here is a look at the facial yoga pictures before and after 30 days of doing the yoga. And here it is. And as you can see in the before, my face just looks kind of normal. And then in the after, just 30 days later, it looks like my cheekbones have slimmed up some. It looks like the jawline is a little more defined. You know, not a lot of changes in that time, but certainly an overall look that the face looks more toned. And after posting that results video, you all asked me to post my facial yoga workout, which I did, and I'll link both of those videos below. And now I have been doing the facial yoga at least five days a week, Monday through Friday, for three months now. And one of the exercises that I showed you in that last video was a nose exercise, because as we get older, the nose lengthens, and it droops a little bit, and then the outside of our nose gets more bulbous and less defined. And when I saw that Curology video, I was super surprised at the results on my nose. And let me show you a close-up from that video a week ago. And here is my nose before and after. In the first picture, that was about six months ago, and compared with the after picture, which is on the right, in terms of the overall look of the nose, in the before picture, it just looks a little wider, a little bigger than the after picture. In the after picture, the nose just looks more slim down the middle. And then the tip in the before picture looks bulbous and kind of non-toned. And then in the after picture, as you can tell, it looks to me as if the tip of the nose is a little more refined. And I truly believe that my nose has shortened somewhat, 
The tip has narrowed and the overall look of the nose looks more toned. And in terms of facial exercise, I've always read that nose exercises are one of the best, quickest ways that you can alter the shape, length, size of your nose. Of course, if you have a huge honker, this is not going to do too much for you. But if your nose has the normal age-related changes that it's gotten a bit longer, a bit droopier, and a bit wider at the tip, this nose exercise is phenomenal. And when I did that face yoga exercise, many of you said, I could understand all the face yoga exercises you showed, Beth, but I really couldn't see the nose. And that's because this is what the nose exercise looks like. And I did it on video and you couldn't really tell. So since this video is specifically devoted to slimming the nose, I'll come in a little bit closer and I'll show you in depth how to do it. Now, the first thing you do is you put your finger at the end of your nose right here. And then you're just going to be pulling down pulling those muscles down. You use your finger as resistance and push your nose against it like this. And as you can see, those tiny tip muscles are being flexed. See? Now, then you use the other hand as resistance. So you're going to put this here, and I'm, I'm not going to put this on here yet, but I'll just show you how this works. You just put your fingers here, there we go, and you go, And the firmer you hold your finger and thumb against your nose, the more resistance you have. Like this is not much resistance. And this is more. And then when you put your index finger at the tip of your nose, you're adding a third set of resistance here. I'll turn to the side. Maybe you can see it. One, two, three, four. So that's how that works. And to do the nose exercises, I do 50 this way, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I do 50 and then I hold it for 50 and just hold totally flex for a count of 50. And when I'm doing that, I'm imagining the tip slimming up. I'm imagining the nose kind of shortening a little bit. And I sort of imagine my nose with a white light around it. I always remember that Arnold Schwarzenegger said that when he lifted weights, he always saw the body part he was lifting surrounded in white light. And so, heck, I thought if it's good enough for Arnold, it's good enough for me. But basically, then you hold it for 50 counts like that. And I guarantee you that if you do that exercise five to seven days a week, within a couple of weeks, you're really going to see your nose change. And another thing about anything you're doing on your face, if you really want to see your progress and keep going, it's always important to take a before picture and then an after picture because our face has a lot of little areas. And if you don't take a before and after picture, you're really not going to notice the changes because the changes come on very subtly. And that's why with regard to anything that you do with your face, whether it's a new skin cream you're trying, facial exercises you're trying, the new face, anything like that, you really do have to take the before and after pictures because if you don't, believe me, you're gonna to get to two weeks, a month into it, and you're gonna say, oh, it's a lot of work and I'm not really sure I'm seeing anything and you'll give it up, whereas if you had taken the pictures, you would actually see that you were making great progress. Well, that was a look at how I've been slimming my nose and if you'd like to try it and you take before and after pictures, if you'd like to email them to me, my email is below the video and I would love to see your before and after pictures and I would share them in a future video for sure. Now, if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel and you're 40 plus, 50 plus, 60 plus, it doesn't really matter. I hope you'll join the 50 plus beauty family by subscribing, clicking that little bell and or sharing this video with a friend. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I've been reading from these Miracles Now cards from Gabrielle Bernstein. Okay, let's go ahead and choose hopefully a positive thought to think about for today. Sometimes no is the most loving response. Sometimes no is the most loving response. Friends, at first this card confused me a little bit, but then I realized that it really does pertain to my life. And one of the ways in which it does is that I do have this relationship in my life where for one reason or another, every time I'm with this person, she puts me down like continually. It's just jab, jab, jab. And she does it very subtly to where I don't even realize she's doing it at the time and I just feel this need to sort of defend myself instead of realizing what she's doing and saying, you know, are you in a bad mood today? Are you feeling angry? That seemed like a negative comment. And this is an important relationship in my life and I've realized over time that I just let her do that to me. And I have for years. And really, at some point, I'm gonna to have to buck up and stand up and say no and call her on that behavior because 
Quite honestly, I'm getting really tired of it. So friends, just for today, if you have relationships in your life where you keep saying yes and keep taking a little bit of abuse, quite honestly, I hope maybe you'll think of this card and realize that sometimes no is the most loving response. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.